Alright, and we are back. Getting stuff done. Addition number two. The, the, the spice must flow. I don't know. It's the desert. It's got the dune vibes, that's for sure. Alright. Um, yeah, we just basically need more people working on getting food production up adequately to get things going in the right direction. Got this tower over here. About to go up to ward off the angry bears from eating my cows. Which hopefully I will have a few of shortly. Very peaceful. Booting it up to times two. Things are good. Build some more houses. Get this design filled out better. He a coblin? Yes, he is a coblin. That's what cobblers do. Keep getting. Gotta keep my shoes up so people aren't breaking their legs. It's not because I care about them, it's because I want them to work. I need everyone working, building my empire. Alright, let's see what we got. Over there, we've got. All right, we're just gonna go all in. Let's get as many people over here as possible getting these farms up. The sooner we get a surplus of food, the sooner I can get more people to mine. it up. We're we're going all all in. Going for the big enchilada now. Full size. Oh man, that's a lot of coal. Estimated the size of this farm. Always do this. It should have been like that. Crap. I'm just doing everything wrong. Right. I want these walls gone. this fence yet, so I'm going to leave that alone. Fence gate there. Um, I don't know what the hell that is. It's gone. Later, when um, 
No, let's actually just build this part out. Good. But you see, that way we don't have to do gates all along the other sides. We just uh, seal them off. Fine there. Should be a decent area for the cows to uh, frolic in. What's great is I could probably put another tower like right up here as a protective barrier. Yeah, this is gonna be nice. Population growing. Yes. Almost. Oh man. I'd like to put it in my big field, but we'll put it in the small one for now. Food supply is becoming quite the issue. We need to get bread production going. Taking things a little bit slower than I usually do because this is just a slower paced map. Yes. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. Get that barn up ASAP. that? More beans? Even more beans? Yes. All the beans. See, it works. I only got that one disease, and that was, well, it's right there. But, but, but you see what I'm saying? If you plant the clovers, but by the time it comes to the next crop, it's gone. It's just like, the, it's kind of like, it should definitely not be that easy to get rid of disease, but there it is. He's hunting there. Oh crap, new merchants arrived. I gotta, um, I gotta find, there's wolves over here. All right, we're gonna send the hunter to kill those wolves because I don't want them anywhere near my cow. What you got? What you got, old man? But I still think that was the proper investment in this situation. And soon we will have our empire of crops constructing. Yeah, 19 out of 19. Okay. That's good. That's, that's 9. 15. So that's 10. That's 19. All right. Need to get these weeds down and then we're gonna grow buckwheat which has a negative two impact now remember what i said this map does not 
act like other maps. The fertility goes down every year regardless of what you do. So it's even harder. So I've just been I've just been doing one clover and one buckwheat and that's kept like an equilibrium going. With the comet I have to put compost on it, so it may not, I, and maybe it's not that there's a negative. Maybe there's just less, the there's less of a positive impact. I don't know. I I do know that it is a lot harder to get fertility up though, and that fertility goes down much faster. These are, like, for instance, the fertility on this is, like, barely going up. Should be going up 4% every year. So this is, like, 1, 2, 3. So it should have gone up, you know, like, 12% over the last three years. But it's been, like, 6, and it's gone up half that. So it's, like, the fertility gains are, like, half or something. Well, let's see. So this is 44. So if it's 45, if it's 45 next year, then it's it's normal. So we'll use that as a placeholder. I've I've just personally noticed that fertility doesn't go up the way that it, like it should be skyrocketing with that build, and it's uh, taking forever. So that yeah, 44. Okay. Ooh, got the deer coming in. Yay! The crops provide life. Yes, deer, come. Come over and eat. Eat the succulent beans. Come on, where's the hunter? Where's that damn hunter? for fun or something. This guy's just like wasting the whole towns for the ammunition. Get over here, man. Freaking letting me down, dude. This guy this guy's pissing me off. Now <laughs> he's just walking away. Fine. Fine. He just he just wants everybody to starve to death. Apparently, it's in the other hunter. Future farm can go here. Best farming area I can find, though, unfortunately. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, like, I don't know if the fertility gains are halved and the losses aren't, or something, it's just like. It just feels like it takes forever for fertility to get up in this this map. See, it's go it's it's saying the fertility is negative even though no actions, negative actions are taking place. That's what. Oh, uh, see. It, it does. 
Oh, there's great. I've got disease. Alright, so we're at 44s. Alright. Does it, yeah, it doesn't make sense to have fertility going down when you have two fertility producing crops being planted. Beans are about to finish, so let's see if it procs anything. Very terrible yield, but Oh, wow, the weeds really sprung up on that. Oh, that was bad. Nothing noticeable, but... Weeds really killed... Killed it. See, I didn't get as I didn't get anything from that. Got a good harvest at least, but it's only been going up by like one percent a year, and it should be going up four. So yeah, if this were working like the old the old method, like if this were if I were playing the easy map, I'd be getting like four percent increases per year. So this is fifty five. This is 44. We'll see what they are at the, the beginning of the year. 55. Let me write this down. I know I'm going to get sidetracked and totally forget. 47. 44. Okay. We'll, we'll come back and check those. The beginning of the next year. Oh, gosh. Let's get some more wood, guys. It's a good day. Good day to cut wood. We've tapped out our resources for laborers. We need more bodies, but in order to get more bodies, we need food. It is a no win situation. Concern. Actually, I have an idea. Crap. Still says I have 19 out of 19 farmers. Wait, that's right. Yeah, 5, 5, 9. Okay. It's good. We need more stone. Build this wall. Oh man, why did I decide to build the freaking barn there? Let's build a barn there. Get that barn going. Immigrating, that's good. I need to pump this guy up because there's just too many workers now. All right, we're gonna draw down our labor force. good with that.
Tells you if there's animals in the in the area you're looking at. There we go. It's gonna get harder and harder to get deer. I gotta get these barns up ASAP. I don't think I'm gonna make it if I don't. Alright, cut the walls up. Try to get a perimeter soon. As long as I can channel them into the right areas, like channeling them in here is a death trap because there's towers inside. Yeah, before I used to enclose like each farming area, now I just enclose a whole area. It's a lot cheaper and compact. Still at 55, still at 47, still at 44. I'll have to like search online. The, the stuff online though isn't really re as reliable as I'd hoped it would be. There's not a lot of people talking about the mechanics of this game. There's a lot of uh, streamers who play this game early access and they've already moved on. And they aren't really providing any further content or knowledge. Not me though. I just keep going. This game's really cool. I'm honestly still learning things about the game. It's uh. I love I like I like uh, survival sims with farming and I love medieval games. I'm a huge Total War fan. I play the whole Civ series. I've been playing Civilization series since Civ 2. Um playing Total War since the very first Total War, medieval. And uh not medieval, sorry. Um Well, medieval Medieval Total War was the first one I played and then Shogun I, I played later. Attracting to me this game was the defenses. I love, uh, love building defenses. I used to, also used to play a game called Life is Futile, um, where I was the main base designer. And I went pretty hardcore on that game. Oh, wrong, wrong button, sorry. Oh. Oh, I put it in the freaking place. Bad. Get that stuff over there, come on. We need to get some money. We need 1200, we need 150, we need 25 upgraded houses, and that's gonna cost us quite a bit. And by the time I terraform this area, they'll clear cleared it. 196, okay, what you got? What you got for me? I'm gonna buy these just because I could use them to upgrade um, decorations. Oh, new year. That's right. Okay, it went up two. That one went up two. Wow. It went up. How the hell did it go up that much? It was 47. Now it's 53. And this one stayed 44. Oh. That's because I added the compost to it. 
dork. So this one went up. So, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because this should be plus four. It went up two. So it's like the there's either a negative two per year fertility loss or the fertility gains are halved. That's my theory now. I know that there's a loss because it's not going up the way it should. This one didn't even go up. So it, it should be it should have gone up one, but it didn't go down two. It didn't go down at all. So that leads me to believe that it's not that there's an implicit negative in the background, but that the fertility gains are halved. And that makes sense. That that adds up. That's what we're seeing. Um, this I added fertility to, so that screwed up, screwed up the whole thing. But this went up two points on plus four, so it went up 50%. The other one didn't go up at all, so 50% it, it, of one is half. So I'm assuming it's rounding down. Um, that makes the most sense to me, though. So that's what's going on here. I think uh, fertility gains are half. So we'll, we'll, we'll test that out. And I think fertilizer is supposed to increase by 10, and it only went up 6. So, that sucks. So the fertilizer gain was even capped. Oh, no, I think it's capped by its size, too. Um, I actually have to look into that one. I know you have to have at least, I think you have to have, I think the bigger the field, the more gain it gets from it. I don't remember. Never really had to care, to be honest. It's always been pretty easy. I'm gonna get candles going here soon. But it's definitely not going up the way it does like at the lakes. It's definitely much difficult. And that's why I go buckwheat because I can do like the plus three and then the negative two. I think it kind of like cancels out. It just like it doesn't go up or down, which is great because you can use the compost to eventually get it just becomes a fertile neutral build essentially. But I don't know how the heck you throw wheat or any of that stuff here because your fertility gains are apparently have this place. This one's all diseased, but I don't care. Looks like the diseases are more... It looks like it's not telling me that I have diseases. So I just wasn't aware of it. But that's okay. Because I'm still, I'm still getting food. Well, I don't really have a choice, because people are starving. Um, this is a really bad situation I'm in, because my other playthroughs, I had lots of deer near where I was settled and I had a lake with fish and that fish fed easily just that one fishery fed at least 40 people so yeah not having that is uh, been a huge down ooh we got boar yes 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 oh it's got got lots of good stuff over there and we got the gathering here Is that is that is that you cow my god someone bring one piece of wood please I'll probably have the cow first cows graze in this fence and eventually this whole thing will be full of barns and they'll be grazing outside there there's freaking deer everywhere what are people doing This guy can come over here now. Yeah, it looks like the diseases are working properly now. So much for my bean theory. Alright, 
And there's a raid. And I don't know what they're doing. They're not breaking the fence though. Oh, going through the cracks. I think that you could potentially maze your defense like you do in like games like RimWorld. Um, they if there's an open place, they tend to go to it over um, over gates and stuff. Every area is gonna be like this too. That's what makes it so freaking ridiculous. Yeah, no survivors. It just went up one. So. It went up one from the clover. This one didn't do shit. I'm so, I'm so lost. <laughs> okay. Terrible. Oh, nice, nice, nice. So I can, I can use this area. I don't know if I could grow clover fields out here to re to uh, get fertility back into the land. That would work. Ugh, terrible. right I don't want to do that so how many tiles do I need here one it's ten I think yeah, it's ten the best area for fodder. Um, yeah, I don't think that's 10. Yeah, because this would have been 10 and 10, I think. I gotta pause. That will do it. That gets me to the road. Gets me there. I'm only gonna have three of these. Just 
just trying to get as much of the fertile areas as I possibly can. This guy here, protecting everybody. There shouldn't be any more deer in here. got people coming to the city. No, that's fine. Get the miners up. The builder's there. We got the farms going. That one up a little bit. See, it says that negative yield. It's just like, I don't get it. I know there's definitely something though. It's just, it, re it really is not going up the way that it used to. I do, I do wonder why. I'll save I'll save my opinions till later I suppose I don't have enough information I, I mean I, I can conclude that there's definitely a harsher mathematics to this gonna send them to the send them to the best place in front of this tower that I can hopefully no bears come and eat them has decreased substantially though we were we were smoking 700 before now we're lucky may have to figure out how to get better fertility into our fields and start uh, mixing up what I'm growing Thirteen. Alright, what do we got? Fifty-seven. Didn't change. Um, okay. So it didn't go down. 
54. That's where it was. Didn't go down. 44. Yeah, so it's not getting any fertility boost from the beans. And it's like... Okay. Let's... I'm not sure when the fertility counts here. That... Oh, dude, I don't remember. That actually looks like it could have gone down. I gotta, go, I gotta write them. I write those down too. So we got 41, and we got 41. Nope, oh, there it goes. 59 it went up two. Okay, it just took a second. It took a little bit for it to hit. So 59, 54. So this one went up plus one. It only went up one, and we grew plus four. Oh, wait, no, 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 sorry, that's where it was. I, I wrote 53 down for some reason, sorry. That one didn't do sh crap. That one went up two. This one went up two. So, it went up two and we only grew beans. It must be random. And this one didn't go up at all, even though we had plus four. So the fertility gains are, ran are random. That's, that, that must be it. And in this environment, there's less of a chance for them to be... Like, there's probably like certain probabilities that you get certain fertility gains. And there's probably harsher chances to get those fertility gains. That's what... That's why I'm noticing it's taking longer, because I'm not... It's not as easy to get, um high rolls or something like that that's that's my theory at this point i'm gonna need to i'm gonna need to um do some digging on that one because that's super confusing i'm gonna sell shoes heck yes i am buy brick actually i need the gold I forgot to send the cows over. It's fine. Enable milking. So they are going up. Hmm. They're, yeah, they're not definitely not going up as fast as they did the lakes. I think that the percent to get that bonus is decreased. Where on the other place, it was like 85% chance to get that plus two or plus three. It's probably lower here. Oh yes, we're selling shoes. We are cobbling. We're officially a military military camp that sells shoes. We are the Al Bundy of uh, the mediev medieval castle world right now. Hmm. I was able to get a bit of clay. I don't remember buying that much clay. I must have gotten that off the raid, the bandits that I killed or something. I don't know, I've just been passively buying clay. No, no, I, yeah, I, pro I did buy that clay, that's right. I just got sidetracked, I guess. I wonder if all these rocks are good for fodder. They don't seem to impact it. That's actually pretty funny. Let's, let's go eat, let's go chomp on these rocks, guys. All the cool kids are doing it, come on. There we go. That will, that will seal the deal.
we will have a fully enclosed farming area. Very nice. Yes! Yes. I love it when they come, like, nine of them come in, like, that's... That's so many people. I need more fire... No, we don't. We got so much. Alright. We are at a critical juncture where we have no choice but to grow the buckwheat. No, just... Don't tell me what to do, stupid game. Let me tell you when I want to plant it. Freaking. All right, so we have 43% fertility, so it gained two. And it gained two off of the clover. So yeah, it's, it's gaining about, oh, sorry, clover's impact 3%. That's right. So it's like... Yeah, we'll just keep testing it. So we're at 43 now on this one. And this one went up one point. So it got one percent of that three percent so it is like it is almost like it's it's halved or it's like negative two or like it takes like whatever you should get and mine it takes half of it it just it seems definitely like there's some kind of correlation i definitely would have had like my fertility up to like 70 or 80 by now but you know what buckwheat buckwheat's superior because it's it's dependence on fertility is quite low So we got 42. I'll write that down. You know what's also good about buckwheat? It's a weed suppressor. And it has high rock resistance. Growing that buckwheat. 24-7. Turning this bad boy on. Getting ourselves a bakery going. Nobody's gonna stop, stop this train. All right, he's going right here. He's gonna give all these houses a boost. Zero and twenty-five. All right, we got a bit of a ways to go. We need to get some money in here. Kidding me? Oh. The diseases are finally spreading. No, that's just a brand new disease. Okay. Just bad luck. Powdery mildew. I don't, know, I don't see any other fill of powdery mildew. Just our luck, right? 14% chance within 100 meters. I don't care. Just give me the wheat. We're getting lots of stone getting this next, next one going. Wait. Oh yes, it's the cows, that's right, they eat, they eat stone now. Forgot. Look at that, look at that. The bean harvest was substantial. 
I nourish my colony for years to come. How much did we get? Oh my god, 991, nice. That's really good for like such a crappy plant because that's a, it's a thousand bread. That is going to keep my people happy and keep my uh, workforce coming in and keep them fed. So I need them to work, I need them to eat. I get stone walls, I'll upgrade this outer outer little place here. This this fort's basically just to kill if the raiders come and they break the gate, I just need something in here to kill bears and stuff. Keep them from destroying my I've had multiple games where the bears come in and just eat all my cows and it's rather embarrassing. I hate that pun so much. Every time I say say that completely unintentional and I hate myself more and more every time oh man it's so good to finally have bread Yes. Close can I get these? It does look like I'll have to put both of them right here. Or no, no matter what I do, that one house is just really unhappy. Negative. I don't know what to do. Didn't account for that. The one windmill for now is actually going to be quite sufficient. <laughs> They're still going at. They're so close to being done, though. nice to have your little farm courtyard all hammered out the AI tends to just run on this road and run right by it so more power to them in fact I'll probably build this road out or make another road just to kind of guide them That will be nice. We'll at least have this bottom area. All right, so the barracks, gonna, barracks is gonna go there. 
got a gatehouse here. Gatehouse there. There. Gonna have to build this part first. And then put the last piece on. This is what I have designed right here. Let's see what that looks like before I do more. This one went down. One, so plus three, so plus three minus two, it should have been plus one and it went down one, so it went down 2%. Ha, 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 ha. This one went up plus 1% to 43. So it only went up 1%. This one went to up two. This one went up two. This one didn't go up. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm I'm really glad. I I don't know, know exactly what what's going on, but I do know that the fertility gains are extremely limited relative to um, other maps. So there's definitely a, a negative to this this map and farming. Nobody is buying my golding, my iron ores anymore. Oh, there's a bear running into my town. Let's see if the towers get him. Yep, he's gonna get hit by the towers, good. He wants the honey. He's, he can taste it. Look at that population. I just think I'm gonna sit on this gold for a bit. Do they have herbs? I need herbs. Crap. Buying all of these. I need these for the upgrades. That's why these houses can't upgrade right now is because they don't have herbs. building decoration. I need to start uh, getting a lot of stuff situated. 
Man, I'm gonna sell like 150 of these, I think, because that's like a thou. I was so close to getting that other field. 43. Yeah, yeah, 42. Alright, that's why I grow buckwheat. Right there. 760 bread. How much is it making? 550. Perfect, perfect. Let's look at our spoilage. Wow, not a lot of spoilage. Well, I guess they're a lot more frugal when they're starving. Okay. We're going to um, do some trees. That's why I built this area the way I did. And I always do one granary right here. Uh, sometimes they'll put some wheat in there and then the cows have it. I don't care if the rats eat it. Um, it's, it's just a... It's just to keep the cows fed and have access to food. I should actually consider putting a um, temporary shelter out here though. crop oh, don't need that got three major crop lands up so powdery mildew why are, are they getting sick I don't get it 40% it just went down 2% so I'm gonna have to take a year off just to break even on this build yeah okay and we want to alternate the year they're taking off this one I'm gonna try to get up a bit and we need to get this compost rolling we need more people we need more everything all right this guy's going all right let's look at our resources to make sure okay yes all available weed is pretty much being converted We have people now. Uh, we're going to make a candle maker. And we are going to start spamming more of these bad boys. Um, put one there. I want them close to the farmers because the farmers are the ones who collect from them. If that's enough, but it's gonna have to be. One crop. That's how I design the bottom part. I like to have really tough corners. The other corner will look exactly the same. And there'll be a barracks right here. Um, this will be a pretty, pretty crazy place. Let's put the tower right there. Get a tower right there. But now we got the lower section. I should have built that one tile up. I'll move it. Yes, yes, I'll take them. Of course I will. I'm, got, I'm liking these harvests though. 
We're going to be making about 1,600 bread, even with bad conditions. And my fertility is decreasing pretty dramatically, so yeah, I will have to take a year off just to break even, just to keep them in the 40s, and I'll have to use my compost to move them up further. What is eating? There's nothing over here. And my beans continue to to dominate. Going to need to add clovers. But this will actually eventually gain a lot of fertility. Um, that's why I do it. Clovers and beans. I don't care about the diseases or any of that stuff. Because they just, they, by the time the next harvest comes, it's been so, it, they take so long to grow. It's just, it's kind of funny. We'll get some get some trees planted. That'll bring in another source of food for us. I want easy access. I'm going to do one over there and one over here. Yes, eat the rocks, my, my pretty, pretty cows. They grow, they grow strong. They got iron, too. They got iron in their diets, so they're gonna be strong cows. year we taken off third year second year this one's gonna take off the first year okay so first second third perfect all right I should keep them in an equilibrium and keep my grains going Need lots of boards right now so we're going back Ten people? Heck yeah, I'll take them. See? This is what I told you. Game just starts exploding. Alright, put that guy up to three. And just to get ahead of ourselves, because we did just, like, increase our population by, like, 30, 40 people. We could just get that up going. I could turn it off if I don't need it. Processing a thousand. Uh, we're gonna have 16. Let's get two people in there. Let's keep. We don't want to convert all of this to bread because they're gonna just start throwing it away. The flour lasts two years. Oh, and we forgot about these guys. Alright, let's get the. Uh, let's get the second market up. It's gonna go right here. This is the top of the build, so which is perfect because all those crazy towers will go here. A couple of towers here, looking over the farm. The whole farmland is going to be covered with towers. Every area of this place will be covered with towers. In fact, all right, September to October. When do we want food the most? June to August. We don't really care about food. Right before winter is a great time to have food, but we have our we have our beans harvesting in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh yeah, we have our beans harvesting in June, so hmm. Stuff over here. 
There's really bad fertility there too. Oh man, it just is what it is. This will be the worst apples ever, but they're gonna be our apples. Environmental factor, 40% fertility. I'll take it. Oh yeah, we got the bees, that'll, that'll help. Yeah, you definitely have to use every advantage you can on this map. It's got, it's, it's fun. I actually feel like I'm actually, like, I don't know, it's, it's just a little too easy. I could, I, I could actually argue that I could tolerate an even harder difficulty than this. I feel like the solutions are um, pretty easy to discover. Something a bit more challenging would be welcomed. Halfway house for the degenerates out here. There we go. Now people caught in the storm out here have somewhere to go. Yes, buy my, my three shoes. Thank you. Thank you for buying my gold. Got candles going. Let's get those candles flowing. I need to get this in a proper spot though. No, 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 that's not the proper spot. I'm gonna move these guys over here. I'm gonna move this guy, because he's too close to the buildings over here. There. Yes, 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 yes. Right there. Yes. Alright. Things are moving in a very positive direction now. Fletcher is a commerce building. Commerce buildings can go right here. I'm going to put... It Great. They're screwing up. They're screwing up my yard. They just love to come in here and break this crap. That's why I have the tower, though. It keeps them from attacking and beating up all the walls. It's typically enough to get rid of them, too. So I do usually have two towers over here. All right, where are they? All right, some of them got in. Oh, they're uh, getting owned. The inner defense holds. We got two of them. 
the shoes. Bring them. They don't have anything that I want. Mm -hmm. Nope. Yeah, usually I have a tower right here. second tower. I could buy more cows. Buy another cow. Yep, yeah, let's do that. Speed up the birth rate. Gives me five cows. More milk. Speed up birth rate. trying to get progress going. It's going to be a while before I'm 150 population, so I'll get I'll get the money for the upgrade in another run. Send the gold to my village so I can build stuff. Nice shiny things. I want, I need to get this stupid shrine built over here, but. Being difficult. I should be harvesting those berries. Food stocks are low. Oh no. Food stocks are always low. Well, I guess I would want f not. I would not want to grow. F try to separate the fruit because the fruit spoils super fast. If I'm correct. So best to grow different seasons. I know it has really low fertility, but uh, this that's the map. I don't know why the fertility is like growing in a certain weird way. Looks like people pooping or something like in the city is increasing fertility. It's interesting. I've noticed that though in my last build that the places that I built on were barren. Like they started getting lush and green after a while when people were there. Like the terrain improves. I guess it improves by increasing the fertility. Which uh, changes the graphics. See, like this was all barren, and now it's like got grass and. What is? Oh. What's getting in?
there they are. Freaking deer. We're gonna get rid of those deer. Of course, my hunter cabins are on fire. No, it's the smokehouse. That's why I got that well there. Hunter will come and take care of the deer problem. I wonder if they can't get to the spots. Okay, now they can. Alright, double towers. Look at all that milk. Soon there will be meat. Is going on. I wonder what they got attacked by. That's what I like to see. Seventeen hundred bread, half of it's being cooked. Perfect. It means I can trade it. Flowers a good trade too. Fifty eight, not bad. It's gone up a couple. Forty eight, it's gone up just a little bit. 63, it's gone up quite a bit. These, on the other hand, continue to go down. That one's doing okay. That one's doing okay. Just keep growing buckwheat, trying to keep the fertility from going down too much. We're gonna build out the tower spots, but we're not gonna fill all of them. Not until we get mansions. We can't afford it. But I can I can fill out every other one and uh 
I mean, right now our defenses are actually pretty solid. I like this a lot. It's kind of cool looking. They haven't lost that many people considering how harsh this difficulty is supposed to be. Oh yes, look at that. There we go, now we got houses that are about to be upgrading. Operation saws go. Yes, the candles. The candles are the win. And the coal. Yes, finally. Let's buy one more of these. We're gonna save the money. Um, we're gonna buy some of these ingots for upgrades to um, decorations. And then everything is going to upgrading the town. get this up. And once I hit the tier 3 I can do that. Small plazas are like one of the only things in this game that stack as far as bonuses go. And I'm trying to get everything up to 30% here. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to happen because of the mine, so get that. That's quite, that's quite enough, probably, as far as upgrades go. 
Come on, get that up. He's got clay. Uh, I have nothing. I should have saved some of that money. It's all right. Soon I'll have cheese and cows and I'll have everything I need. Yeah, cows are pretty good. So see, this is what I was talking about. See how I built this large one? They don't go up. They don't go up at all because they don't get any bonus from it. That's why I took, I just took these straight. The only ones that get a boat, like anything, were the ones that were th like way up here and super far away. And it was like one to 2%. So I just took them completely out. There's no bonus. So, just need the one large park. Yeah, all these should be getting up to 30 now. And they're gonna start upgrading. I need 50 bricks. That's what I need. firewood I am a little scared about our um, agricultural situation but I think once we hit 150 we're gonna hold that population uh, it's a good population uh, but we need to increase our food. Oh my god. I don't know. I don't know how this one's going to pan out. I should have put two towers over there. <laughs> what a perfect time for a fire to start. All right. so this is why... So this is why I compartmentalize the tower. See, they got to break multiple gates. Uh, then they got to break multiple walls to get to the tower. Oh god. They just took... All my gold. If I would have had just one tower. I'm such a dork. Well, it's a good thing I spent most of that gold. That was a big, that was a big raid. Whatever. All part of the game. It's gonna take a while for this stuff to start bringing in anything good. Thousand gold ingots, ouch. Well, that was embarrassing. I should have definitely have 
built out the defense is better there. They go straight for the trade post every time. We're starting to pull milk in and soon we'll start pulling in meat here so that'll be good. And the fertility seems to be pretty strong. So the food should be sufficient for cattle. Oh, 65, wow. That's really shooting up. Oh wow, 46, that's from the fertility boost. 43, 48, they're about where they were before. And our yields are getting a little bit better. Just need to get to 150 people. Once we hit tier three, we can we can really start growing because we can smelt the gold into coins and buy everything we need. Let's start building up a bigger military. Barracks will be next. It's gonna go right here. Beautiful bees, yes.
they seem to still be bringing in quite a bit of meat. That's probably keeping this place floating. Tax dollars coming in now. We have so much flour that I'm not worried about the population starving. I'll just increase bread, bread production if it does. The spoilage is really good. The milk is spoiling though, I need to turn it to cheese. This is the inner courtyard area I was telling you about. Oh, I put a plaza there. Whoops. Can't have gates on plazas, unfortunately. This, so every single corner you see is going to look exactly like this with the corridor. So in order to get to another area, they have to break through multiple places while having all these towers firing on them. This will be moved and be the same thing there. there right there so it's going to be pretty crazy
And he wants to buy everything I have. He's got lots of gold. another uh, barn up. Yeah, this is why I like this design. Like I said, I figured this out after a lot of failed builds. Um, I had walls here but by removing them I was able to bring everything in to the radius of it of the up, upgraded market and um, works and this is just as effective at uh, there's gonna be multiple layers of walls so if they break into any one area they have towers shooting them from all sides and they have to break through all these corridors to get anywhere year off so I'm not too concerned about the disease it's going up just a little bit that's good
three more houses and a handful of people. Forgot about the wall right there. All right, we did it. We're pretty much on our way to victory now. Um, secured the major resources. Defenses are a little bit better now. population. It's great as they get these towers too, the market. They get a little bit of money.
harvests are slightly increasing. We're going to try to see if I can pull out some root vegetables to get a better shelf life. I'm going to bump this up to times three for a bit. I just like sprang out of the earth.
people that want clothing and they want shoes right now. I need to make them happy so more people come. 23. Alright, let's see if two freaking gates can... Let's see if two gates can get them this time. chance that time. Fences, nothing major. close. So now you, hopefully now you can see what this is going to look like. It's not even close to being where it's going to be, but it's basically just going to be this impenetrable fort with towers every, everywhere.
Now we can upgrade. Man. I'll definitely upgrade when we get back. Man, it's great. Oh, no monthly cost, okay. Let's get two people in there. Not much, but it adds up. All right, we're going. We're going to two people because we need bread. Flower is expiring, so we'll just ramp it up. Two people should be able to do it. Alright, I think this is a good place to leave off. I will pick up again tomorrow.